We all know that video post-production can take a lot of time, don't we? There's all this editing, tracking, grading, audio, blah, blah, blah work to do. And if you're anything like me, you tend to sit on projects longer than you originally planned. Be honest, that happens from time to time. Am I right? Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Well, the title of this video says it all. The technique I'm showing you today, auto ducking in Premiere Pro, is a time saver, no doubt. And if you've never heard of auto ducking before, listen carefully now, because this has the potential to change your audio editing process forever. I think. So here we are back in Premiere and this is the sequence I want to work with. A video track, its corresponding audio track, that's my voice, and some music. Let's give it a listen. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. I guess we can all agree that the music is way too loud in this case. I, at least I hope we can. <laughs> what I could do now and what I did for the longest time is I can come in here and do this manually. I can set a keyframe here, set it to um, minus 20 dB, one here, and another one here, and then I need a fourth one that's again minus 20, and so on and so forth. The problem is, like I said, this is very time consuming, and I don't want that. So let me quickly undo this because that's exactly where auto ducking comes into play. I jump over into the audio workspace of Premiere and now I first need to tell Premiere which audio track is which. This first one is the dialogue and this second one is music. And look what we have here, docking. I enable it and now I simply have to click on generate keyframes. Premiere will analyze the audio tracks and automatically set the keyframes for me and it's ducking against the dialogue. Let's try this, generating keyframes. Boom, there we have it. Let's jump to the very first frame. Hello and welcome here on... Nice, right? It started loud and then when I started speaking, the music faded down. That's what I wanted. One more time. Hello and welcome here on... Ren Yes. And now let's listen to this part of the sequence. It says forever, I think. And then, my friends, is it... That works pretty fine, if you ask me. But a couple of things. First, I think minus 18 is still a little bit too loud. I think minus 22 would be better. And also, I like the fade duration to be a little bit longer. Let's try this. Okay, it's done. Forever, I think. And then, my friends, is it for this week? I Yes, very nice. I think I can adjust the fade position a little bit and maybe bump up the duration even more. Generate keyframes again. Let's give this a listen. Audio editing process forever, I think. And then my friends, is it? Now the fade duration is longer. I think I like it this way. And the fading starts a little bit earlier. If Premiere creates keyframes that you do not need and you want to get rid of, you have to play around with the sensitivity over here. Just bump it up a touch, that usually solves the problem. And don't forget, every time you change something, you have to click on generate keyframes again. Um, that's basically it. And of course, you can always come in here and change keyframes individually, if you like. Um, 
here we have the individual parameters and we can come in here and, I don't know, change this keyframe manually like so. I think this knocking technique is pretty cool. And since I know about it, I use it all the time. And that, my friends, is it for this week. I really hope you liked it. And if so, thank you very, very much. I see you in the next video. And until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.